everyone, let me introduce the leakage detection of high efficiency filter in the Biosity cabinet. Two instruments will be used for testing. Aerosol generator and aerosol photometer. Aerosol generator will generate aerosol upstream and then into the Biosity cabinet. The aerosol photometer will be used to detect the upstream and downstream concentrations so as to check the leakage of the high efficiency filter. Let's introduce the use of the instruments in detail. First let's introduce the aerosol generator. The aerosol generator includes the following parts. 1300A host PVC reinforced hose, hose clamps power power cord. The instrument has built-in air compressor. And no external air source is required during use. Just connect the power cord to use. OK and let's connect the power cord first and then connect the PVC reinforced hose to the aerosol outlet. We tighten the hose clamp, then unscrew the old filler and pour power into it. Please observe the old gauge and do not pour too much power. In this way, the aerosol generator is ready. The aerosol generator includes the following parts. 6012 host power cord conductive silicone tube scanning probe. Before operating the photometer, you can connect the power supply or use the built-in lithium battery. The upstream aerosol pipeline is connected with the upstream interface. The connecting line of the handheld instrument has two interfaces. One end of the scanning probe connection connects to the probe communication and downstream interface on the host, and the other end connects to the probe. Here is how to use the aerosol photometer. After the aerosol photometer is connected, turn on and into the login interface. After logging in with username and password, the photometer will self-test, preheating, and sensor adjustment respectively to ensure good performance. Next, enter the main interface, including setting measurement, query and maintenance. Setting phase, you can set the filter name, date time, alarm and printer, and select the type of aerosol. The measurement phase, aerosol detection. Query phase, you can query historical data. Maintenance phase, maintained by the engineer. Before testing, let's learn about the airflow operation mode of the Biosity cabinet. The airflow entering the cabinet will first pass through the grill. We can see that the interior of the grid is a cavity, the gas will enter from here, then flow under the workbench, and then flow down from the high efficiency filter above. Therefore, the grill is upstream of the safety cabinet, and downstream after passing through the high efficiency filter. In our test, the aerosol needs to be generated upstream. Open the inlet grill and connect the pipeline of the aerosol generator to the upstream. You can find that a detection port is reserved in the cabinet for detecting upstream aerosols. This port needs to be connected to the upstream pipe of the photometer. After the pipes are connected put the grating back. In this way, all preparations before testing are completed. Click measurement on the main interface of the instrument. Click OK after self-inspection, then click upstream detection, and click OK after zero adjustment. At this time, the photometer starts to detect the upstream concentration. The generator and photometer will be used together. Please confirm the generator in the working gear, and then click the switch to start. Pull out the knob and rotate the knob to adjust the concentration. Left is pressurization, right is depressurization. If the aerosol concentration is low, rotate the nozzle to 10 to increase the aerosol concentration, then adjust it. This is the adjustment process of the aerosol generator. We need to keep the upstream concentration at 1,0 micrograms per liter. By adjusting the number of nozzles and the spray pressure of the generator, after confirming the upstream concentration, click a downstream. In this interface you can number the high efficiency filter and set the leakage alarm value. Decision time can be set at GIF 5S means. At the same point, if the leakage rate is exceeded for 5S, we should record there is a leakage at this point. In this way, false alarm can be avoided. Real-time interval is the printing interval of the built-in printer. Upstream con concentration is just determined. After inputting all data, click start, and it will be zeroing. Now remind you to start the test, click OK. The operation interface of scanning probe is the same as that of the host. In the process of detection, please ensure the aerosol generator is always on, and turn on the fan of BSC to ensure normal operation. Adjust the front window to a proper height. In this way, we can detect the leakage in the BSC. Attention, when scanning the probe should be 2.5 cm away from the filter, and the scanning speed should not exceed 5 cm. S. Turn on the alarm switch. If the leakage rate exceeds the set value, it will alarm automatically. 
if there is an alarm, you can continuously detect this point for more than 5s, which is the decision time when detecting the downstream as mentioned above. Data will be printed if this point exceeds for 5 seconds. This is all about the HEPA leakage detection of the BSC.